welcome to Living Hope. Praise God. Church service. We give God thanks for another Sunday. We give God thanks that we can be here to worship together and share together and encourage each other another time. So, Father, we thank you for another day. We thank you, Father, that this is a day that you have made and we will rejoice and be glad in it, Father. I thank you that you are with us in our individual homes. You're with the individual mm. families, my God, and that you would bless this service, my God, as we worship together, as we share together, as we yes. encourage each other, Hallelujah. Father. Let your Holy Spirit be in the midst of us, Father, to lead us and direct us in Praise the way that you would want this service to go. We thank you, Father, that you would reach out and touch, my God, each individual, yes, Lord God, Lord, and bring Lord, healing, Lord. bring deliverance, bring provision, bring breakthrough, my God, bring miracles into our lives this morning, Father. As we give you thanks and we bind every plan of the enemy, we bind every obstacle or any hindrance in any way, shape or form. And we give you all the praise, all the glory and all the honour in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Praise God. God. I'm going to hand over to Sister Alicia who will be leading us. In Christ alone, who took on flesh, fullness of God in helpless babe, this gift of love and righteousness. Scorned by the ones he came to save Till on the cross as Jesus died The wrath of God was satisfied For every sin on him was laid Here in the death of Christ I live There in the ground his body lay, light of the world by darkness slain, then bursting forth in glorious day, up on the grave he rose again, and as he stands in victory, since curse has lost his grip on me, I am here. Precious blood of Christ. No guilt in life, no fear in death. This is the power of Christ in me. From life's first cry to final breath, Jesus commands my destiny. stand hallelujah we're not standing alone this morning we're not standing in fear and worry and wondering what's going to happen tomorrow we're standing in the power of christ i just encourage you all to worship hallelujah. in your individual homes this hallelujah. morning hallelujah praise hallelujah god. you know it might be a feel a bit <coughs> weird because we're not in church but you know just worship god in your own way this morning mm. because he is a mighty god hallelujah mm. as we worship where you are, wherever we are, God can touch you exactly where you are. 
because God is omnipresent Amen. and he's right there with you. Don't think he's just with us here. He's with you there as well, for God is omnipresent. Amen. So just praise him and worship him wherever you are. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Bishop. I'm going to ask Jamari to read this morning's scripture. Reverend Kwame, could I ask you to give the welcome address after Jamari, please? Reverend Amanda, if you could unmute yourself. And the scripture's taken from Isaiah 41, verses 8 to 10. But though Israel art, my servant Jacob, who I have chosen to see it of Abraham, my friend, though who I have taken from the end of the earth and called thee from the chief men, therefore, and said unto thee, thou art my servant, I have chosen thee and not cast thee away. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Do not be, be not dismayed. For I am God, I will strengthen thee, yeah, I will help thee, yeah, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jamara. That was read beautifully. Praise God. And it's just encouraging us not to fear because God is with us. Amen. Jesus, be a fence. All around me every day Lord, I want you to protect me As I travel along life's way Lord, I know you can Lord, I know you will Fight my battles and I'll be still Be a friend All around me every day Matthew chapter 15. I want to talk to you what the Lord laid on my heart. Matthew chapter 15, 32 to 28. It says this. Then Jesus called his disciples unto him and said, I have compassion on the multitude because they continue with me now three days and have nothing to eat. And I will not send them away fasting. So I won't send them away hungry lest they faint in the way back. On the way back, they may faint. Verse 33. And his disciples say unto him, Whence should we have so much bread in the wilderness as to fill so great a multitude? He went on to say, And Jesus said unto them, How many loaves have ye? And he said, Seven, and a few fishes. And he commanded the multitude to sit down on the ground. And he took the seven loaves and fishes, gave thanks and break them and gave them to the disciples and the disciples to the multitude. And they did all eat and were filled. And they took up broken meat that was left seven baskets full. And they that did eat were 4,000 men. That's not including women and children. So 4,000 men besides women and children. I'm going to pause there. Amen. But I'm going to go back to that verse where he talks about in the wilderness. It says in verse 33, And the disciples say unto him, When should we have so much bread in the wilderness as to fill so great a multitude? Jesus was preaching the word and the people went to follow him. There was 4,000 men, excluding the women, excluding 
the children. Mm -hmm. So we could estimate there could have been about 12,000, roughly. Mm -hmm. But something was bothering Jesus. He had compassion on the people because they were hungry. Mm -hmm. And Jesus said, we're going to feed these people. Amen. But the disciples said, Jesus, how can we feed these people? We're in the middle of the wilderness. Where are we going to get food from? Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to explain to you the word the wilderness. Look at these words. The first word is dabar. Okay? The word dabar in Hebrew means word or to talk or to speak. Mm -hmm. I'm going to teach you another word. Lodabar means no word or don't talk or a place without food. Mm -hmm. But the final word we want to talk about is midbar. Midbar. Wherever you are now, just say midbar. Midbar. Midbar literally means wilderness or desert. Mm. Praise God. Now, Jesus only had seven loaves and a few fish. And he had to literally feed 4,000 men. And if you look at this picture here, Jesus was teaching these people and he had to feed them. They were in the middle of the wilderness. The wilderness means a time of scarceness, mm. a time where you are alone, a time where you feel that you're by yourself, a time where you feel down and you don't know where you are. Many of us right now are in the mid bar. Mm -hmm. Praise God. We are in the wilderness. What's mm -hmm. happening? Yeah. COVID-19, mm -hmm. the government's in turmoil, the world's in turmoil. What's happening? But God says, this is a mid bar situation. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you what happens in the mid bar in the Bible. Because you see, we have to follow the Bible mm -hmm. because we're Christians mm -hmm. and Christians want to get examples from the Bible. The Bible says that God gave us examples in the Bible for us to follow. Amen. So the Bible said that when they were in the mid bar in the wilderness, it always represents a place where God speaks because the root word for wilderness mm -hmm. is the word speak because mm -hmm. dabar, dabar, remember, means to speak. Mm -hmm. Lodabar means not to speak, mm -hmm. but midbar, let's put it back up. I want you to see this. Midbar literally means the wilderness. I want you to look at that. If you want to take a screenshot of that or a photograph of that, it's very important. Mm -hmm. So dabar means to speak. Lodabar means not to speak or without food or without word. And midbar represents the wilderness or the desert. Mm -hmm. Now, it's no coincidence. It's no coincidence that when God wanted to speak to Moses, where did God take Moses? into the wilderness, the midbar. It's not a coincidence that after he had did something wrong in Egypt, that he fled and he went into the midbar. He went into the wilderness Amen. to hide. Amen. He thought he was hiding, but it was a chance for God to speak to him. Amen. God is saying, many of us are in the midbar right now. Amen. We're in the wilderness now. Amen. And we think there's no food. We think there's nothing. But God says, don't worry about that. I'm going to provide for you in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. But it's my chance for me and you to have a one-to-one. -one. It's amazing how God has now given us time. Amen. He's saying, I'm going to give you no choice. I'm going to make sure I give you time. Amen. And uh, uh, yes, we know that there are some people who are key workers who are still working now. But I'm talking in general at the moment. Mm -hmm. So God is saying, even though, you're, you're in the wilderness. It's my time to talk to you. Because when I was talking to you before, you wasn't listening. Amen. Oh, Shanda, hallelujah. Amen. When I was talking to you before, you wasn't paying me no attention. Mm. When I was talking to you before, you said, but I've got work to do. When I was talking to you before, you said, but I've got this, God, I've got that, I've got work. Listen, mm. praise God. So many of us now are not working and God's still providing for us. Amen. Through the government as well, through the 
what's it called through the um the furlough, the furlough the and, and the business loans and different things god is still providing for many of us amen so just like the five thousand in the wilderness that was in the wilderness and the disciples said jesus how can you feed all these people jesus said don't worry i'll feed them but i need to talk to them god wants to talk to you that's the reason why we're in lockdown amen amen god wants to speak to you he wants to he wants to change situations in your life the things in your life that's easily getting you down god says i want to talk to you about it amen. i want some quiet time just you and me time mm. just you and me time i want to speak to you hallelujah but God says, you've been rushing around. You've been rushed off your feet. So God says, I'm going to shut the whole world down. Bam. Mm -hmm. Now he's speaking. God is showing that he is still in control. Amen. The Bible said that Hagar, do you remember Hagar? I won't go into the story. You can see the picture there. Hagar became a single parent overnight because Hagar had a child for Abraham but Abraham's wife was so jealous, said, get Hagar out of my house. Hagar had to go out of the house with Ishmael. Where did she go? She went into the Midbar. Mm -hmm. Oh, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. She went into the Midbar. When she went into the Midbar, to the wilderness, the Bible says God spoke with her there. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. So even if you're a single parent, God is saying, I want to talk to you and your child because I want you to have time together. I want to speak with you. Amen. There's no coincidence that Mephibosheth, the son of Jonathan, and unfortunately, when he was a child, something happened to him whereby he became lame in fact the nurse accidentally dropped him mm -hmm. why because she was rushing mm -hmm. <laughs> she had she was rushing to get out of somewhere and she dropped Mephibosheth Jonathan's son and do you know where Jonathan's son was living all his life he lived in a place called Lodabar. Mm. Lodabar. What does it mean? Remember, Lodabar means no word mm -hmm. or a place where there's no food. Mm -hmm. So Mephibosheth was living there. But when David the king realized he was living there, he said, can you please bring to me, because I want to bless mm -hmm. the house of Saul. I want to bless the house of Jonathan. Bring to me Mephibosheth. So I may bless him. I may sit at my table. Hallelujah. So Mephibosheth left Lodabar, where there was no word, mm -hmm. praise God, into a place called Jerusalem, where there is peace. Mm -hmm. God is saying, he wants you to come out of Lodabar. Amen. Come out of Lodabar. Amen. Lodabar is a place where God can't speak to you. Hallelujah. Lodabar is a place where you're ups and down and you're busy, you're doing this and you're making dinner, you're getting the children to school, you're picking them up from school, you're getting to work, you've got to rush to catch the bus, you've got to do your homework, you've got to do... Lodabar is a place where God says, I can't speak to you. I want to speak to you, but I can't get to you. You're so busy. Sometimes, sometimes we're on our phones too much. Sometimes we're doing our own thing. Mm -hmm. God is saying, I want to speak to you. You wasn't listening before COVID-19. One of the reasons why I'm using COVID-19 is so I can speak to my people. Amen. If my people who are called by my Amen. name would humble themselves. Amen. 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 God says, if you would just listen to me, Amen. if you would just listen to me, God says, I will take you to another level. Amen. So come out of Lodabar. The Bible said just before Jesus started his ministry, mm -hmm. do you know where the Holy Spirit took him? The Bible said that God, by the Holy Spirit, took Jesus into the midbar. Hallelujah. Even Jesus went into the wilderness. Amen. Why did he go into the wilderness? Because God, even though Jesus is God, the Son of God, 
God wanted a one-to-one. -one. God was dealing with him with something, talking to him, saying, this is the start of your ministry, son, Hallelujah. and you're going to be successful. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus is taking us into the midbar. Why? He wants to speak to you. Amen. Praise God. He wants to give you a word. Praise God. He wants to give you a word of comfort. He wants to give you a word of cheer. He wants to give you a word of, of success. Hallelujah. What did God do with the children of Israel when he wanted to take them out of Egypt? All of us know God took them out of Egypt into the midbar, into the wilderness. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. And when you look through the Bible, don't, don't forget, God speaks through types and patterns in the Bible. Mm. When you look through the Bible, every time you see the word wilderness, there's two reasons mm -hmm. why the wilderness comes up. Mm -hmm. The first reason is that we want to run to the wilderness to escape mm -hmm. from something that we have done. But it's a setup by God because he wants to speak to you there. Amen. Amen. The second time wilderness comes up is where Jesus says, I want to take you to the midbar because I couldn't speak to you before this. Mm -hmm. I couldn't get through to you. But praise be to God. I want to get through to you now. In Psalms 46. It's okay. Psalms 46 verse... 10 it says be still hallelujah and know that i am god amen but god i'm doing this be still and know but god you don't know what i'm going through right now because i need to get this done be still and know oh my god hallelujah, hallelujah. be still hallelujah. and know but bishop bishop listen to me you don't know what's happening in my family you don't know how my, 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 my mother's ill, my brother's ill. This is happening. I've got no money. I've got no job. Listen, I have compassion on you. But listen to this. Jesus still provided for the 4,000 in the wilderness. Hallelujah. God says to tell you. Hallelujah. There's about 60 of you on here now listening. Mm -hmm. God says to tell you people here right now that he is ready to bless you. He is ready to do exploits through you, but you must be still and know. He's going to still provide for you in the wilderness. Amen. But at the same time, he's going to speak to you. God wants to dabar with you in the midbar. Amen. Are you getting it? Amen. God wants to dabar, speak to you in the midbar. Amen. God cannot Amen. speak to you in the Lodder bar. Are you getting it? No Amen. word. Got no pastures. Come out of Lodder bar. Come out of Lodder bar. Amen. Come out of Lodder bar. Hallelujah. God says, I want to speak to you. I want to give you blessings. I want to speak to you. In fact, while I'm speaking to you, God is just speaking to me right now. Your next Praise God. God is just dropping something in my Hallelujah. spirit. The elevation of your, of your ministry, God is speaking to you now to lift you up higher. Amen. Amen. Your next level, or your next walk with God, your higher walk with God, or your next level with God, God is saying, I'm speaking to you now. Amen. So no matter where you are in your Christian life, mm -hmm. God is saying, if you're just saved, God says, I'm speaking to you. I want to take you up higher. Amen. If, you've been, if you're a minister, God says, I want to speak to you. I want to take you up to your next level of ministry. Amen. If you're not a, a Christian, God is saying, come on, I want to speak to you. I want you to come into salvation. Amen. Praise God. Amen. God wants to speak to you. The gospel must be preached. God is speaking. God wants to speak to you through the pastor, through the bishop, through a friend, through the word of God, mm -hmm. through your spirit. He wants to speak to you. God says, I want to take you to your next level, but allow me to speak to you. Yes, I know you need healing. Amen. 
Praise God. I know you need healing, but God says, I want to speak to you. Yes, I know you need food and water and, uh, you know, the uh, necessities. Uh, 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 necessities of life. But God says, I want to speak to you. Yes, I know you feel down and you've got things to do. But God says, I want to speak to you. And I'll say this. There is nothing on this planet. Listen to me very carefully. There is nothing on this planet that is greater than God. Amen. I want you to think about that. There is nothing on this planet that is greater than knowing God or God himself. Amen. Paul said this, all that I may know him, who God, and the power of his resurrection. When you get to know me, you'll find that I can put healing words in your lips. Amen. Hallelujah. Wow. When you get to know me, you'll find out that I am the God who can provide all your need. Wow. Not what you want, but what you need. Amen. I want a BMW. Praise God. <laughs> Amen. I've been asking Pastor Debbie now for months, <laughs> but she just does this to me, just laughs at me. <laughs> but God knows, praise God, what I need from what I want. Amen. 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 Praise God. I'm excited about Amen. this. I'm excited today. God saying, in your homes, get to know God. This is your chance. Read your Bible. Don't say you've got no time. Mm -hmm. Amen. Pray. Study. If you don't know something, there's ministers within our church. You go to them and you ask them and you say, what does this mean? Mm -hmm. You can come to Pastor Deb, you can come to me. Speak to us. We want you to grow in this time. Amen. And closing, remember, in the wilderness is the same place where Satan also came to tempt Jesus. Mm -hmm. So God is speaking. Hallelujah. <laughs> but the devil is also there. Oh, I feel the anointing of God's presence. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. And the devil comes to try to take away your thought of Christ. Worship me, the devil's saying. But Jesus is saying, no, listen to God. Amen. So God wants to debar in the midbar. Praise God. When Jesus says yes. Amen. No one can Amen. say no. Amen. God says in Psalms 107 verse 20, I send my Dabar. Psalms 107 verse 20. Praise God. Look what it says here. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. Amen. He sent his Dabar and healed them. You want healing? Listen to God. You want deliverance? Listen to God. You want to be delivered from your destruction? Hear the word of God. Amen. Thank you for listening to me. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. So the Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Amen.